Hi everyone, I'm back um, with the build and I've actually done quite a bit since the last video I did um, I actually went ahead and started doing a paint job and what I did was I did a undercoat like I showed everyone of the Tamiya surface primer okay, and then what I did after that was on all the edges <coughs> where you could expect debris to hit the, to hit the ship that's found through the atmosphere or space um, I used the hairspray and um, this is just sprayed into a, into a bottle and um, with a brush and I just brushed around the edges and then I gave the whole model a coat of white uh, Tamiya matte matte white acrylic paint and uh, basically what it came out was pretty well um, some areas <coughs> no okay not some areas uh, on, on quite a section I, I ran out of paint so what I switched over to was the Tamiya matte white and the only difference now is this is an acrylic paint so I, wouldn't, I won't be able to do the uh, uh, withering the way I wanted to do with the hairspray because the idea with the hairspray is once a white paint on top and you wet it and then wipe it down with a toothpick or, or earbud it wears the paint down it looks like wear and tear so now I've gone over the whole model with, with the acrylic uh, with, with the um, um, lacquer so unfortunately I won't be able to do it, I'll have to do it manually or use the, the Dremel on the model. Um, what I've done as well is I've started doing the templates for the uh, for the red lines <coughs> and each kit will actually get a template paper okay and that's basically your wing lines top and bottom your nose and your the stripe down the center of the, of the, of the nose and cut them out <coughs> I can then use them. So what I've done is on the wings. Okay. Basically put the temper down. Okay, what I did not do was I didn't draw draw lines on the wings because then it'll be difficult once you do the red to you have they have lines all over the model. Just lie down lie one down and then do the other one then it'll sit against the edge and you can do the rest and you see on this um, wing sections <coughs> that the tape which, you, which I'm using the uh, it's a Maya tape masking tape it runs right around the edge all the way to the, to the other side and this one over here runs in, in or runs parallel with the edge of the wing all the way around and around the bottom like and you see on the bottom of here it actually has a section of the of the, the, the rear landing gear uh, pod um, is painted red as well as well as your main fuselage as a little triangle okay and you see on the pictures that I've that, that you will be well I'll put in my box account for, I'll give access to my account uh, or to the folders in the box account with all these videos and um, and photographs etc <coughs> you see that this little red triangle is on there okay. and the, the, the build log um, the, the document will have photographs as well um, with measurements just to help out okay so what I want to do now is I actually want to do the nose section red stripe um, I've already done the, the, the front okay that there is, is this one so I cut it out, I put it on, and then I'll we'll try and get the center of it by folding it in half to get the center <coughs> or draw a line. Put it on, strap it around, and then tape it on, and then use that as a as a, as a guide. And um, it's not 100 percent You'll have to just play with it with the size, but it is. I think it is. It's 13 millimeter wide. I've actually written 13 over there, taking a photo off. So this is 13 over here. I've noticed it actually comes around. It's not flat. So I just use my blade and I just drew it out first and then I just cut it around. Okay, so let's let's do the um, the stripe. So I try not to make it as tedious or make it as tedious as little as as little tedious as I can. And this kind of thing can be boring. Um, basically, this runs slightly forward of the of the of the flat end. But you might have to. <coughs> eyeball it. You can do this way.
Okay, so when you're happy with that, what I'm going to do is get a reference point which is going to be this front. Take a piece of tape. Okay, what you can do <coughs> is get a half and mark on both. So this is 13 millimeter, so five, six and a half. I'm not folding it because then I'm gonna use dimension. This one here is 25, so that is 12.5. The center on both of them. <coughs> Very straight <tidy> tonight. <laughs> yeah, you can put a small dot if you like because this section is actually hidden. So this is 35, that's 15, 17.5. do actually over here is use the this front uh, nozzle as a reference point okay. around about there I'd say line that one up there I'm gonna do it's down on this side. It's gonna mark the edges of this. See where that lines up. So straight up. It looks pretty straight. Okay. Take a piece, two pieces. I'll just stick it out. Okay, so it's on. It looks pretty, pretty straight. Looks good. And okay, now it's simply as just sticking two pieces on. So You stick it down one side and I just move the tape. It's slightly bendable. Right. So my problem every year is I'm not at home at the moment. I'm actually building this model at work. I have spare time. Um, so some of the things I don't have, then I must either try and get hold of it somehow um, or get someone to bring it for me, which is not very easy. Luckily it looks like I brought everything with me. Well, mostly. <laughs> I've had some issues. I didn't have the, have the, uh, the tail wing. Uh, I only got that two days ago. So that's on, I'll show that to you now. 
Okay, that's it. Perfect. So now I can just peel this piece off. these two pieces to close up this end. No, it won't be long enough. Get a new one. Yeah. There we go. So it's the same procedure I did with all of the um, the stripes on the wings and on the tail. Yeah, that's that's it <coughs> so what I'll do is before I paint I'm not gonna show the painting process I'll, I'll get a piece of paper I'll either stick it underneath this this tape um, to prevent overspray and then I'll just rack the red and get it in there um, I think this uh, uh, red it's called a red something um, red purple color purple red um, seems to might, like it might be the right color. It's because it's more of a maroon kind of red color. It's not bright red. Don't, don't paint your model plain red. It uh, doesn't look right. It's not the right color. Okay. I did put a paint guide on the on, on the on the um, drop box. Okay. So here's the tail. Tail wing. Um, same thing. I went all the way around. Okay. I'm gonna have to get a piece of paper to put it over there for the. Um, Prevents overspray, and then, like I showed just now, I showed the wing already. Okay, um, I've gone ahead and I've painted all the little bits. So, <coughs> so what I first did was I used plain metallic grey, and it didn't look right. It looked right on the engines, but it didn't look right on the rest. So what I did then is I mixed metallic grey with a bit of white just to lighten it up and then I gave a light coat over everything and it looks a lot better um, I mean it's your choice what you uh, what color grey you painted I mean I'm looking at the at the, the mock-up photos and to me it looks like it's a shiny metallic grey color um, I mean I'm going to be putting uh, weathering on this anyway with probably with with dark grey or a plain uh, uh, um, German grey Okay, so I'll do that and then but what I'll do first I will do the red paint and then uh, most likely the, uh, the, the the decals afterwards. <clears throat> but before I do the, the the paint, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a paintbrush and paint a layer of no no uh, spray. I'm gonna just paint it onto the uh, the paintbrush. This one. I'm just gonna paint it on. Okay, and then I paint the red because that way I can then I can use the the, the, the spray technique. Where what you do is you, is you put water on it, leave it for a couple of minutes, take a uh, uh, um, earbud, and then wipe it down. It looks like it's chipped off. Um, actually, I'll do a video on that specifically to show you how it looks once I'm done. Okay, so in the next video you'll see that the red will be done, and then I'll I'll start doing some chipping, and then we'll probably get into the, into the decals. Um, I did receive the decals sheets and they look very nice. So there we go. Okay. And um, Jim does a very good job at decals. Only thing is they're very thin so you need to treat them or read the instructions carefully before you before you actually put them on. But yeah, very nice and both cockpit uh, instrumentation is there. Okay, which helps. Okay, so I'll see you in the next one.